That's what you got to tell yourself. You're completely relaxed. You're able to see everything that's going on. Your sense of anticipation is sharp. And that can't happen unless you're relaxed. A man who's thinking and worrying about getting hit is not going to have a good sense of anticipation. Man. He will, in fact, get hit. And most important, when you get hit, like you, get excited. When you get hit, bang, you get, oh, you get excited and your head comes up, your hands. When you get hit, that's when you got to be calmest. That's when you got to be calmest. When you get hit. A professional fighter has got to learn how to hit and not get hit. At the same time, be exciting. That's what professional boxing is about. You got to be clever, you got to be smart, and not get hit. And when you're able to do this, you're a fighter. So they're not going to back away. Peace. It's your boy, Romelo Scuds, E. Russ, Outspoken 520 Boxing. I want to give my keys to victory and my prediction on Saturday's fight, May 11th, in Australia for the vacant IBF lightweight championship strap. I'm talking former Unified 135 champions, Vasily Lomachenko versus George Cambosis Jr. Vasily Lomachenko, he's 17 at 3, 11 wins by way of knockout. He's a former Unified 135 lightweight champion, and he's a former three-division champion and Olympian gold medalist. George Cambosis Jr., he's 21 and 2, 10 wins by way of knockout, and he's a former 135 Unified champion in the lightweight uh, division. This is a very important fight for both fighters, and both fighters is at a crossroad. And I'm going to tell y'all why. For Lomachenko, uh, he's coming off a controversial loss versus Devin Haney. Lomachenko and George Cambos has got both got common opponents. Um, they both fought Devin Haney, and they both fought uh, Teofimo Lopez. One beat Teofimo Lopez, that was George Cambos's. And one lost to Teofimo Lopez. That was Vasily Lomachenko. He lost on my birthday, October 17th, uh, 2021. And both lost to Devin Haney. Um, and George Cambos has lost to Devin Haney twice. Back to back in Australia in his own backyard. But Loma, um, if he don't win this fight, I think he will be a gatekeeper. He's still a big name. But he just be a gatekeeper for the up and coming uh, fighters in the 135 division as they trying to climb up the ladder, and that would be and Loma would be the the name that would get him there if he loses this fight. For George Camp Bosses, um, people look at him as uh, I, I hate to be brutal, I hate to be, I hate to be blunt. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I got to be blunt on this. Well, people look at him as like a one night sensation. What do I mean by that? As he beat Teofimo Lopez, uh, Teofimo wasn't healthy. And also, Teofimo was off his game because of the trash talk. The I think the fight was canceled three times and they finally fought. And that fight didn't go right. And George Cam bosses got the uh the split decision win and he that's how he became unified 135 champion so people look at that as okay that was like a fluke but then he fought Devin Haney back to back and lost in a in dominant fashion Devin Haney was strong athletic skillful and he lost it all but that ain't the reason why people look at it as a fluke the fight he had last year with Massey Hughes. Massey Hughes dominated that fight, and he was not gifted the win. Cam Bosses got the win. I know what that was about. They, he's with top rank, and they would set this fight up that we about to see Saturday with Lomachenko for the vacant IBF uh, lightweight strap. They knew Devin Haney's moving up in weight and vacate all the titles. So, I'm going to start with... Uh, Vasily Lomachenko, uh, they call him the Matrix. And they, the reason they call him the Matrix because he has the best angles in boxing, period. Uh, he's, he's like a like a walking turnstile. 
he just go, he switched this way, he switched that way, and he throw the best combinations too uh, when he switched. So, but his Achilles heel, he starts slow. They call him a walking computer too because he starts so slow. But once he figured your style out and he figured he figured what you're trying to do, that's when he raises up the pressure. He does that majority of his fights. He did it against Devin Haney. He started slow. Even though he had a couple of the moments early with Devin Haney, he really started slow with Tiafimo, but then came alive in the middle rounds that made it closer, but Tiafimo stood his ground. But he do that with a, a lot of his fights. Um, he's not the biggest. That's why he's so quick on his feet and he uses angles very well because he's not that big. He's only five, 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 six. And he's not the most, his, he's a solid, strong puncher, but his knockouts come from, uh, we got you hurt and he's the best closer. One of the best closers in boxing. So, um, very skillful, uh, good IQ. But he just starts slow. That's kind of like his problem. I think for Loma, I think he need to come out uh, like he was coming from a hunger strike because he got to be hungry for this. He got to start fast. He can't play around with Cam Bosses. He got to go in there and take it so he could be back in that mix with the, um, in the 135 division and he could fight uh, Shakur Stevenson and Shakur Stevenson take care of business uh, July 6th. I think if he starts fast, then Loma wins easy. George Cambosis. George Cambosis, um, he's he's solid, but he's not great to me. Um, he's a good counter puncher. He do he does his best work on the inside, and he kind of he's a patient fighter. So basically, he waits for you, so he can uh so he can accelerate. His game plan, and that's not gonna work against Loma. Loma go, Loma is gonna really. This is gonna be a boxing lesson to me. But George Campbell boss has got to uh, take a page out of Devin Haney's book. When Devin Haney was working the body, that's what slow movers now, and Loma is a mover. So hit the body shots, and he's taller. So I think he needs to jab, work the body, slow him down. And constantly do it. Don't take no breaks. Constantly do it. Constantly. So uh, that's his only best bet to me. And um, I think he needs this victory to validate the uh, Tiafimo uh, Lopez uh, win uh, that he got. That would validate that. Because all his fights is kind of like the same. He fought Mickey Bay. And also he fought... Um, uh, Lee Selby, Selby, I'm sorry, Lee Selby. So, and his fights be the same. It's split decision. He dropped Mickey Bay. That's how he got the win. But his fights be the same. And the fight that he got majority the de majority decision on, he didn't deserve to win. Uh, Massey Hughes deserved to win, and Massey Hughes supposed to be in this position right now, fighting for the IBL vacant title. So, but. I think that's what uh, George Campbell's need to do. Um, work the jab, go to the body, slow Campbell, um, Lomachenko down because we already know he's a, a computer and he's going to switch angles and he's going to throw combinations. And he's going to break uh, Campbell's down mentally, just like Devin Haney did. So, um, yeah, I think that's what he need to do. Who do I think winning this fight? I think Loma easy. Uh, I think Loma's gonna come with a hunt, like he's coming from a hunger strike. He's gonna be hungry. He feel like uh, he should been he should have been undisputed champion right now instead of Devin Haney. He got a lot to prove. Um, even though he's thirty six years old, but uh, the age is not always the case. It's not always. So it's about how you uh, how your skills. As you uh, as you go, grow in age, your skills grows with it. So, and last time I checked, Lomachenko is still uh, very talented. Even though he started professional late, but he's still talented. And I think 
Uh, Loma, I think Loma stops him. I'm going to say in the seventh. Uh, George Camp bosses don't show me a lot of things that can really disrupt uh, Loma Chico's rhythm and, Lo and Loma's timing and his um, his angles. I, I don't see it. But it's boxing. What the hell do I know? I, it's some it been upsets. <laughs> it was upsets. It was an upset last month, and you already know where I'm going with that. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. So, but that's all I got. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button. I'll smoke at 520. I'm on YouTube, IG, Facebook. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Loma with the knockout. Loma in the stoppage. Loma in the session. Or Cambosis in a knockout, Cambosis with a stoppage, or Cambosis with a decision. Let me know. Comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. So again, subscribe to the channel. I spoke at 520 Boxing. I'm everywhere, baby. Romelo Scuds, E. Russ. Peace and blessings. One.